So the Elgato Stream Deck is a powerful tool for your content creation workflow, no matter if you're live streaming or recording. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how you can use Expert Broadcaster with the Elgato Stream Deck. And if you enjoy short videos like these and short tutorials, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. So in order for the Elgato Stream Deck to talk to Expert Broadcaster, you actually need the extension for the Elgato Stream Deck installed in Expert Broadcaster. Now this is usually installed by default, but if you need to, you can go to the extension store and install the plugin. And then in the Elgato Stream Deck app, you need to actually go into the store for the Elgato. I'm saying Elgato quite a few times here, but you need to go into the store and install the Expert Controller app. And then you can start adding controls to your Elgato Stream Deck, Elgato, 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 you add the controls from XSplit to your Elgato Stream Deck. So the Elgato controls for XSplit are pretty standard. You can switch scenes, you can start and stop recordings, but there's actually some really cool, unique tools. So you can actually trigger presets, you can take screenshots, and you can control outputs from XSplit. So if you wanna open up more opportunities, you can use the different features within the Stream Deck. So for example, you can bind the Stream Deck to certain keys. So for example, I use a 68% keyboard, so I don't have my function keys. So what I do is I bind a function key to the Stream Deck and I use that to control things in Expert Broadcaster that I use quite often, like the in-game overlay. Or you can use tools like Elgato has a multi-action tool. And this basically works similar to macros in XSplit where you can stack a series of commands and delays and just trigger them with one key press. So you can do these to do production maneuvers that might take multiple people. For example, going to an ad break, going to a timer, waiting for it to stop, then going back into the action. It's really up to your imagination and you can combine these with different controls like controlling your lights or controlling different effects that you can use in your recording or your stream. So if you wanna add a bit of production flair to your stream or just make your streaming setup a one-click solution, I highly recommend using the Elgato Stream Deck with Expert Broadcaster. If you have any questions about how any of this could work or how to set up certain effects, let me know in the comments. Thanks again for watching. And again, be sure to sign up for XSplit at XSplit.com.